Well, um, aloha and happy holidays, everyone. You know, we really appreciate you folks uh, coming in to this call today. Stephanie, I think we got to get you more often because we haven't had these kinds of crowds in a while <laughs> to our Zoom event. So there, we're going to drag you back. Um, welcome to our Chamber of General Membership Meeting. And today we'll be recognizing our own Stephanie Nagata, recently retired director of the Office of Monarchia Management and thanking her for her 20 years of service to the university, our chamber, and our entire island community. But first, like Sebastian the Crab from Little Mermaid says, we got to create the mood. So there's nothing like a Christmas song to get things started, okay? So um, we're gonna play a little game while we wait for a few others. So everybody, uh, Turn off your mute button. This is going to be an interactive game. Okay, I'm going to sing a line from a popular Christmas song. Um, <laughs> yes, I am going to sing. Uh, but, you know, you can turn off your sound if you really want to. But, you know, like I said, this is interactive. So it's a good chance for everybody to come together. And uh, if you don't... Uh, uh, take off your uh, mute. Uh, you're going to miss out. Okay, so I'm going to sing a line from a song. And then when I hold this up, I'd like all of you to sing the next line. <laughs> yeah, <got it. laughs> if we know it. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I'm sure you all will know it. Oh, don't worry. Um, okay, so... Let's do a practice. So um, let's see. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun, fun, fun it is, is to ride in one horse or so it's Hey, hey. <laughs> fantastic. You guys did good. Okay. I, I, you know, honestly, I love to see all the smiling faces out there. So thank you. You guys, you guys made my day. Okay. Let's try the next one. Frosty the snowman was a jolly happy soul with a corn cob pipe and a button nose. And two eyes made out of hope. Right on. <laughs> you guys get them. Okay. Might be, might be easier if we just had Stephanie sing. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This one, a little bit more tough. Number three, day of Christmas, my tutu <laughs> gave to me. One minor bird in one No, number three, number three. Dried squid. Three dried squid. Two dried squid. Two dried squid. And, and a one, 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 one bird in one papaya tree. tree. <laughs> 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 you guys doing good. Okay, what, we get time for one more. Um, here we yes. know that Christmas will be green and bright. Green. The sun will green. shine by day green. and all the stars at night. Christmas. We're not going to win any awards. <laughs> okay, okay, that's great. We 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 started this event with a smile, and we'll be smiling throughout. Um, you know, I want to remind all of you that there's still time to submit a written message to Stephanie on our online Padlet. Um, Taylor's just shared it in the chat box. So if you haven't had a chance to write a quick message to Stephanie, um, please uh, check out the link on, our, on the uh, chat box and you can send in your message. Um, you know, back in early 2014, uh, thanks to conversations with Stephanie and with Ross Wilson, our chamber held a celebration commemorating 50 years of chamber involvement in astronomy on Mauna Kea. Um, you know, 
HIC was the impetus for the initial development of astronomy on the mountain. And, you know, has, has through the years has continued to actively support its development. Um, I'd like to share a short video with you folks, which tells our story and how it all began. is pretty incredible. If it starts to continue to be better, which makes this sweet and tasty. A million years ago, Mauna Kea rose from the ocean floor and thrust its peak into the rarefied air, two and one half miles above the Pacific Ocean. For countless generations, native Hawaiians revered its majestic heights and its connections to their gods. An old proverb says, Mauna Kea puahivi ku hao ika malie. Mauna Kea is the astonishing mountain that stands in the calm. Today, Mauna Kea continues to inspire awe with its unparalleled views of the heavens. Today, its observatories are at the forefront of scientific research to unlock the mysteries of the universe. Like many great endeavors, astronomy on Mauna Kea started with just a few individuals who dared to dream big. Born in 1920, Hilo native Mitsuo Akiyama graduated from Hilo High School in 1938 and the University of Hawaii in 1942. During World War II, he served in the famed 442nd Regiment before returning to his hometown to settle down and raise a family. But on May 22, 1960, everyone's lives were upended when three massive tidal waves leveled most of downtown Hilo. With its economic, governmental, and social hub severely damaged, the entire island suffered. As the executive secretary of the Hawaii Island Chamber of Commerce, Mitsuo Akiyama was determined to find a way to rebuild the island's economy. In 1961, Howard Ellis arrived in Hilo to head the U.S. Weather Bureau's Mauna Loa Observatory. Soon thereafter, he escorted astronomer Gerard Kuiper on a visit to his observatory. Accompanying Kuiper was master telescope maker Alika Herring. Alika used his 12-inch mirror and said they had been working over on Haleakala. And he said the viewing from 11,000 feet on Mauna Loa was much better than uh, Haleakala. And then he said, what I really want to do is go to Mauna Kea. And I didn't know Mr. Akiyama, and he didn't know me. I told him that I had a list of uh, names of scientists that I could give him and he, if he wanted to write. So I came home and I got about five of them. And in a few days, he excitedly called me and said, Dr. Kuiper, had answered. Akiyama was relentless in his efforts to promote astronomy on Mauna Kea. In 1964, he arranged a meeting with Dr. Gerard Kuiper and Governor John Burns, who approved an access road to the summit. By June of that year, Mauna Kea's first observations were made and Alika Herring stated that it was the best sight he had ever seen. Gerard Kuiper and his assistant Alika Herring essentially discovered Mauna Kea for modern astronomy in 1964. And shortly after that, there was a competition to put the first research telescope on Mauna Kea. Initially, it was a two-way competition between uh, Kuiper's institution, University of Arizona, and Harvard. But in the end, an upstart, University of Hawaii, won out. The UH 88-inch telescope began operations in 1970 and immediately confirmed the unmatched quality of Mauna Kea's skies. 
it was discovered that you could do things on Mauna Kea that you couldn't do anywhere else because of the quality of the seeing, that is the sharpness of the images. Result was that shortly after that, there was international interest, first from the Canadians and the French, and shortly after that, the British, in putting telescopes on Mauna Kea. The next stage of development of Mauna Kea was the arrival of the eight and 10 meter class telescopes. That was followed shortly after with the, the second Keck telescope, and then in very quick succession, uh, Sabaru, Gemini, and the submillimeter array. And all of those facilities were under construction by the mid-1990s. During this period of rapid growth, there were passionate protests by environmentalists and native Hawaiians who felt that their stakes on Mauna Kea were not properly recognized and respected. In response, the University of Hawaii Board of Regents created the 2000 Master Plan, which established three community groups to protect and manage the mountain. The university didn't have anything on the ground on Mauna Kea in terms of being able to make sure they have oversight about activities. So one of the first things that we did is the establishment of the ranger program. From when I first started some 30 something years ago, I, I see a, such a big difference now. They are, we got the Office of Mauna Kea Management now. We, we got the rangers up here where they are watching for any little thing that is, could be considered disrespectful. So we are trying to put that balance in where we respect the, the cultural aspect, the cultural landscape, uh, the physical aspects in the, such as the archaeological sites, as well as the biological and the physical aspects of Mauna Kea. And to be able to allow astronomy to continue but within certain constraints. I think the 2000 West Plan had not happened. The 30 meter telescope would not be here today, or would not be even in the horizon. 51 years after Howard Ellis and Mitsuo Akiyama had an improbable idea, and 50 years after Gerard Kuiper and Alika Herring saw their first light on Mauna Kea, their visions for astronomy have been realized. If you're comparing with sugar a hundred years ago, you know, if it's like new sugar. Astronomy provides jobs and economic opportunities for the island. It's a great opportunity for our locals that want to get into not just astronomy, but I mean other fields, because you're looking at a wide range of uh, technical skill sets up on the, on the summit, from mechanical, electrical, electronics, you know, we got um, software people. I mean, I can go on and on. I'm really happy that we can highlight how do we start and it just didn't happen somebody had to have an idea and somebody said something to something else and from this it just grew to what it is today Thank you, Taylor. Um, what a legacy for Mitsu Akiyama and our chamber um, and everyone involved. Um, today, we have our friend here from Kona, Ross, Wils Ross Wilson, uh, to serve as MC for today's event. Uh, Ross and his partner, Debbie Baker, own and operate current events, a strategic communications agency over on the Kona side. And you know, these lines from his website describe, I think describe their team perfectly. We are forward thinking, strategic, love to laugh, never miss a meal, ever. Please welcome Mr. Ross Wilson. Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy holidays. <clears throat> um, I have the easiest job in the world today because my job is to introduce people that you all know. Um, 
But I'm proud to tell you that actually I'm from Hilo. I live in Kona and I'm a graduate of Hilo High School. Uh, without further ado, yay, Hilo High School. Without further ado, uh, you're someone special with Chamber President Toby Taniguchi. Good morning, thank you, Ross. Aloha everyone. Welcome to our general membership and recognition meeting. Thank you all for taking time from your busy schedules to be with us here today and especially to honor staff. As we call our meeting to order this morning, I'd like to take some time to provide you with a quick update of the organization and then more specifically what we've been up to for the first half of our fiscal year. Now to say 2020 has been a challenging year would certainly be an understatement no one could have possibly guessed the multitude of changes we'd all have to go through in our day-to-day -day lives. Social distancing, barricades, sanitizers abound. But here we are today, and I'm so, so grateful to be here along with you all. And in spite of the challenges and changes we collectively face, our Chamber's Executive Officer, Mr. Miles Yoshioka, and our Director of Membership, Ms. Taylor Escalona, have done an amazing job in pivoting to meet the servicing needs of our membership in our community. This year, we've invoiced over $121,000 in membership dues and had actually anticipated seeing a large amount of non-renewals. Thus far, this hasn't been the case. And while the Chamber has provided membership with extended terms for payment through December, over 70% of our memberships are already paid up. New memberships continue to grow as a direct result of the Chamber's newly designed website and the hardworking efforts made by our membership committee and staff. And in fact, Taylor, if you could bring it up at this time, I'd like to maybe take a moment to share and recognize the, our new members who joined this year. Um, these individuals and businesses are Dominic Designs Web Studio, Goldwood Construction, Gold Green Solutions, Premier Restoration Hawaii, the Harris Agency, Mr. Bryn Withens is an individual member, Ms. Renee Akal, and Mr. Ivan Nakano as well. The Medicare Geek, Tiff Tiffany Groom's insurance broker, Hawaii Island Gourmet and Atebara Chips, Bryson Hero LLC, Sue Lynn Kennels LLC, Techie3 Design Studio, LLP, the Volcano Heritage Cottages, LLC, and last and certainly not least, our 22 University of Hawaii students here at Hilo, who's actually also joined up with the Chamber. Revenue normally generated, so thank you again, uh, new members, and welcome. Uh, revenue normally generated through our membership, our chamber in-person events continue to lag behind budgeted forecasts. However, revenue gains from new memberships and special grants, such as the Hawaii County Holomua Grant, which awarded $10,000 to the chamber, as well as the Chamber of Hawaii's Pivot Grant, which awarded $2,000, coupled with increased donations from our supporters and friends, help us to make up the losses. New and enhanced affiliations with other organizations such as the Chamber of Commerce of Hawaii and the Hawaii Business Roundtable, as well as others, have allowed us um, and our membership to access many webinars, presentations, and talks on business, on health and safety, on financial liber literacy, and, and, and many more topics, many of which um, we did not have access to before. Uh, planned social and Pauhana events continue to allow members to connect and network through gatherings such as our virtual wine tasting events, our virtual reverse career fair for UH Hilo students. This one was kind of interesting where the fair allowed students to submit uh, online videos and resumes for review by prospective employers. And of course, a recent virtual membership appreciation chili bowl drive through uh, where members could stop by the chamber office, talk stories, pick up a piping hot bowl of of Chile and of course pick a lucky number prize off the beautiful chamber uh, Christmas tree. So in addition to these events, just mentioned the chamber has also uh, featured meetings with some high level presenters, movers and shakers. Uh, for example, the young professionals groups organized a presentation by the uh, DLIR director, Mr. Scott Murakami. We've heard from Major General James Gerard who addressed the chamber 
on the role of the military in Hawaii. The Lieutenant Governor, Josh Green, spoke to us on all things COVID. And of course, the HICC took the lead on the primary uh, mayoral candidate forum earlier this year. Additional highlights and positives for the Chamber include a brand new, more vibrant and updated website, allowing event registration, payments, as well as improved member directory. Our young professionals group created Thanksgiving holiday cards for Hale Anui Nui. Our social committee's quote unquote uh, holiday angels project, uh, supporting the children of the YWCA preschool and the Hawaii Care Choices Bereavement Program, uh, presented uh, the, uh, them with the holiday gift bags. And of course, our annual employment law seminar covering the HR and management law was, was also held virtually. Most recently, um, the community oriented messaging <laughs> campaign with and TV and Living 808 featuring HICC's uh, We Are Open, We Are Safe, as well as Share Your Shaka campaign, all featured chamber staff and, of course, our member businesses. And last but not least, the formation of our Chamber Hui, which is the agreement between the Hawaii Island Chamber of Commerce, the Japanese Chamber of Commerce and Industry of Hawaii the Konakohala Chamber of Commerce and of course the Native Hawaiian Chamber created an island-wide chamber consortium focusing on business and business advocacy. So as you can see, my friends, uh, Taylor, Miles and the gang, along with our committee uh, chairpersons and committee members and volunteers have been really busy these first six months of the year. And I applaud each and every one of you for taking and for making the most uh, during this very, very difficult time. And with that, we shall dispense with the uh, any business of the chamber, and we'll announce that we'll, we shall stand adjourned. And I'll turn this back over to you, Ross. Thanks. Thanks, Toby. Um, I have the honor to introduce our guest speaker, Roberta Chu. I don't have to tell you all that she's recently retired from Bank of Hawaii. And as we speak, she's in Portland. Um, she sits or has, has sat on you know, more boards than we all can count, including Community First, Hawaii Community Foundation, Kohala Center, HIEDB, East Hawaii Fund, Think Fund, and she's the current chair for the Mauna Kea uh, Management Board. But more importantly, she's the mother of Stephanie and Devin. Um, I did some research, I couldn't find a husband, but somebody told me that <laughs> something named Newton is related to her. <laughs> and oh, by the way, Roberta is a Hilo High School graduate. Um, and all kidding aside, it's my pleasure to introduce my friend, Roberta Chu. Thank you. Thank you, Ross. Very generous. Um, I do want to, you know, thank Toby and Miles and the Chamber Board for a really continuing to morph into what is an effective, I think, chamber. Um, I think we're all trying to deal with the lifestyle changes that COVID has um, laid upon us, but I do have the pleasure of giving you information and background on Stephanie Nagata. After 20 years with Office of Mauna Kea Management, Stephanie Nagata retired from her role as director on November 30th. While at OMKM, her focus centered on Hawaii Island community-based management for the University of Hawaii's managed lands on Mauna Kea. When Stephanie first stepped into her role in 2000, very little was known about Mauna Kea's cultural and natural resources. Starting from scratch, Stephanie initiated inventory surveys to document and establish baseline information and funded a four-year archaeological survey on Mauna Kea Science Reserve. In the early 2000s, OMKM funded surveys and research of the way Q-Bug which at the time was listed by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service as a candidate for federal protection under the Endangered Species Act. Efforts by OMKM and the development and implementation of management plans, the U.S. 
Fish and Wildlife Service removed the wake cue bug as a candidate, citing the new knowledge and work being done to protect it. In their eyes, quote, the removal of the wake cue bug is based on the successful management of the summit of Mauna Kea on the island of Hawaii. Survey work resulted in more than doubling the number of sites where the species is found. The protection and monitoring of the wake cue bug provided through the management plans of Mauna Kea has precluded the need to list the species, unquote. During Stephanie's tenure, OMKM funded an archival study of documents related to the history of Mauna Kea and an oral history project involving interviews capturing recollections of Mauna Kea by Kupuna. Initiated the development of two management plans, cultural and natural resources, oversaw the preparation of the decommissioning plan and a public access plan, developed new commercial UH permits, funded research on climate anthropod diversity, erosion, and birds and bats, all while overseeing the daily operations of OMKM. When you, let's see, oh, sorry, sorry. Under Stephanie Nagata's leadership, OMKM has been a strong proponent of management actions that are not just required by rules or statute, but actions that are in the best interest of preserving and protecting historic, cultural, and natural processes, properties. Following the completion of an archaeological inventory survey of the entire Mauna Kea Science Reserve, a task, by the way, which took four years to complete, OMKM developed and implemented archaeological, cultural, and environmental monitoring plans that have become the overarching foundation for the protection of cultural and natural resources in the nearly 2,000 acres. This is done in balance with the science endeavors of world-class observatories conducting astronomy from the largest collection of ground-based telescopes in the world. For the archeological inventory survey work on Mauna Kea, Historic Hawaii Foundation honored OMKM for its outstanding preservation efforts of Mauna Kea with the foundation's highest honor, a Preservation Commendation Award. OMKM's development of its Mauna Kea invasive, invasive Species Management Plan produced one of the toughest invasive prevention program that identifies personal gear, vehicle, and delivery cleaning requirements inspection requirements and penalties for non-compliance and delivery of goods and materials. Perhaps the two most crowning achievements for Stephanie were the OMKM Ranger Program, which started with two full-time rangers in 2001 and has since grown to a current complement of seven. The Rangers are OMKM's ambassadors on the mountain. The second achievement is a multi-year process getting administrative rules in place for the UH managed lands on Mauna Kea. Governor David Ige approved and signed the administrative rule which took effect in 2000. When you ask Stephanie about these accomplishments, Without a pause, she gives much of the credit to the entire OMKM team. The team has been consistent, constant, and assuring the quality and the level of research, data management, resource protection, and the day-to-day -day operations that are done with the balance of cultural and harmony with nature and trust in the community. <laughs> Work keeps moving forward, including the near completion of the native plant greenhouse project, 
and the establishment, establishing of a pilot shuttle service to manage visitor vehicular traffic on the mountain. Stephanie Nagata's leadership will be missed. Mauna Kea remains standing alone in the calm, but in a much better place because of Stephanie's commitment, tenacity, and passion for the Mauna and the communities surrounding it. Stephanie made sure that the community voices were heard. She holds true to the guiding principle from which the master plan and the comprehensive management plan were written. Hawaii Island community input is critical to the success of any plan. Stephanie, I think the biggest compliment came from Dr. Billy Bergen, who is a new current Mauna Kea Management Board member and a former UH regent who was servicing as a regent at the time the acceptance of the management plan and comprehensive, man comprehensive management plan by UH was accepted. He said that the plans were ambitious and outlined over a hundred goals. He said that OMKM under Stephanie's leadership achieved all but a few of the goals and really was way beyond his expectation. Stephanie, thank you, thank you for your many years of service to Mauna Kea management and your outstanding success in keeping with Hawaii Island community-based management top of mind. I wish you a happy retirement, which you so deserve, and look forward to hearing about your future travels abroad. Mahalo nui noa, Stephanie. Hey, Roberta, well done. Thank you very much. Um, it is my honor to now um, introduce Senator Lorraine Inouye. Uh, Lorraine Inouye has dedicated her life to public service and helping our community. Um, she has served on the Hawaii County Council. She served, uh, previously served as the mayor of the County of Hawaii, and she now is our state senator. She's a past recipient of the Big Island, Club, Big Island Press Clubs Torch of Light Award, the Distinguished Service Award, Distinguished Service Award from the UH Hilo Alumni and Friends Association. And she was named as one of the 100 most influential Filipino women in the US. In the US. Pretty cool, don't you think? <clears throat> oh, and oh, by the way, she's a graduate of Hilo High School. <laughs> it is my pleasure to introduce State Senator Lorraine Inouye. Thank you, Ross, and aloha. Happy holidays to all of you. It's certainly my pleasure to be here with, with all of you um, during this strange uh, time in our life uh, and in this um, uh, decade of uncertainty. But, uh, you know, as a member of the chamber as well, um, you know, there is some point, uh, there is some time in our life as well in our uh whatever we're doing, whether we're working or dedicating our life to um, the work before us, uh, we need to take a break. And I tell you that, uh, and you're all experiencing Zoom meetings every day. And can you imagine how, how many Zoom meetings I have every day working from home? Um, but again, it's, um, it, it's just good to see, to see all of you. And, and sorry, Toby, because uh, you're, uh, I guess uh, inaugural uh, uh, night out to at least welcome you to be the pres incoming president. Um, I was looking forward to it, but uh, nonetheless, it's good to see all of you. Um, it certainly is my pleasure uh, to be here and recognizing um, Stephanie's um, retirement um, from the Office of Monarchy of Management. I have a, uh, I've introduced a Senate certificate um, congratulating Stephanie um, uh, in her retirement and 
acknowledging um, her exemplary leadership um, and her achievements um, attained and her contributions to our island community and dedicating uh, her time in demonstrating the mission of OMKM. Uh, on behalf of Senate President Ron Kochi and those of um, my colleagues, my certificate is being circulated for signatures. And I'd like to say that the Senate of the 30th Legislature of the State of Hawaii hereby congratulates Stephanie Nagata on her retirement after 20 years of exemplary service with the Office of Mauna Kea Management, recognizing her exceptional leadership and unwavering dedication to the mission of OMKM and the people of Hawaii Island. The Senate expresses its aloha and warm wishes in the future, in your future, Stephanie, your future endeavors uh, and our best wishes uh, to all of you. Uh, let me say, Miles and Roberta, I think introducing this meeting and that beautiful rendition of uh, what we've seen in your, um, your presentation today of Mauna Kea and the history uh, goes beyond um, what we have here on the state of Hawaii uh, and our recognition that the Big Island um, is just open to many opportunities. Uh, Ross didn't mention, and I'd like to say that in my new role as chair of the Water and Land Committee, continue to be in leadership and as a member of the Ways and Means, um, you know, we will continue the progress that uh, Stephanie and the group has taken us to the level where we are today. Uh, I, um, you know, it was a tough decision to give up transportation chair that I've had for the last four years. Um, but uh, the deal was, uh, you know, pretty much the leadership concerned about water and land committee. And soon as they say, you know what, TMT is still there on the books, it's very difficult not to accept the, the chair uh, of the committee as well. Uh, some of you may remember, and I think Stephanie does, that I did chair Waterland in my first 10 years from 98 to 2008 when Governor Lingo was in office. And I've had the opportunity uh, now to um, work on after how many years uh, chairing the committee again. Um, so having said that, um, it, you know, ha reviewing that um, movie we just uh, had seen before us, it reminded me um, that my, one of my first ordinances that I had introduced as a council member working with uh, Don Hall, who was with astronomy at the university campus at Manoa, the ordinance that created the dark skies and the lighting ordinance. And that was the first one of the first bills that I introduced. And look at where we are today because it's now a statewide ordinance on all the counties in the state. So my best to you, uh, Stephanie, you're not gonna retire because I'm sure uh, we definitely have to see TMT uh, built and I'm sure you're gonna be around. Um, hopefully that we won't have any challenges before us in this next session uh, to prohibit TMT from being built. That's my pledge to all of you. And it's great to see you. Thank you, Roberta for a job well done for today's meeting and um, congratulations uh, and happy holidays. And I guess I'll continue my, um, my uh, presence here as a member of the chamber. Thanks, Miles. It's good to see you folks again and I'll end up um, just staying on if you don't mind. Thank you, Senator. We appreciate everything that you're doing for our community. <clears throat> Um, and now the moment you've all been waiting for, you know, Stephanie Nagata gets to talk. <clears throat> so <clears throat> if you know Stephanie, you know that she's been diligent in all of her jobs, uh, with one exception. She is terrible at self-promotion. <laughs> she doesn't toot her own horn. 
I asked her to send me a resume. I didn't get it. Then I looked this morning. She sent it at 1.30 this morning. <clears throat> but fortunately, I have my friend Google. So there's no surprises on the education front. High achiever. Um, BA, UH Manoa, uh, Phi Beta Kappa, MS, Colorado State University, the recipient of the National Wildlife Federation Award, and an MBA from UH Manoa, Beta Gamma Sigma. So did you know that early in her career, she was a forestry field researcher for the US Forest Service and, and studying native birds? Did you know that she was a financial analyst for Hawaiian Electric? And I bet you didn't know that Stephanie worked for the Honolulu Police Department as an evidence specialist documenting crime scenes and securing evidence. <clears throat> I first met Steph when she worked for DBED as an economic development specialist promoting Made in Hawaii products a long time ago. Uh, but since 2000, Stephanie has been at the Office of Monica Management as the interim, first as the interim assistant director, then the associate director, and finally as the director of OMKM. Her 20 year history of working to Malama Mauna Kea is unparalleled. There are two kinds of people. There's show horses and work horses. For 20 years, Stephanie Nagata has been a workhorse trying to achieve balance, harmony, and trust on Mauna Kea. Today, we honor her commitment and her achievements. <clears throat> and unfortunately, she is not a Hilo High graduate. <laughs> She's a graduate of Kalani High School. I'm proud to introduce my friend, Stephanie Nagata. Thank you, Ross, for that very nice introduction. and. Mahalo Senator Inouye for the Senate, for the Senatorial Certificate and to Roberta for your kind remarks. Mahalo Nui to President Toby Taniguchi and Executive Director Miles Yoshioka and the Hawaii Island Chamber of Commerce Ohana for this honor. I accept this honor on behalf of the small but dedicated staff of OMKM and more importantly, for all the for all that you, I'm sorry. And more importantly, to all of you, and the Hawaii Island community, none of what we at OMKM accomplished was possible without the unwavering support by the Hawaii Island Chamber of Commerce and the Hawaii Island community. Globally recognized, award-winning astronomy would not exist on Mauna Kea today if not for the vision and drive to achieve that vision by the chamber back in the mid 1960s. When OMCAM was established in 2000 through the efforts of Big Island Regents, Billy Bergen and Alan Ikawa, I knew that our mission was to develop and excel in stewardship activities under the guidance and watchful eyes of the Hawaii Island community to secure the continuance, continuation of astronomy on Mauna Kea through a balanced approach comprised of stewardship, culture, and science. As a fledging management structure comprised of OMKM and Big Island Volunteer Boards, Kahu Kumauna and the Mauna Kea Management Board, we struggled, but we worked diligently to establish community-based management approach that involved the development of policies and programs and conducting reviews and approving recommendations to the university in public meetings. Community-based management is not an easy process for it involves public scrutiny and direct partic public participation into the decision-making process. OMKM was lucky to have Barry Taniguchi as one of the charter members of the Mauna Kea Management Board. He was steadfast in his conviction that the community must play an active role in the process. His motto was, you can do things right or you can do the right thing. He believed in doing the right thing, even if it meant taking extra steps beyond what was required and even if in opposition to the university. Not that he was opposed to the university, but 
but be, but he believed it was the right thing to do and was a better approach to achieving the university's goal of sustaining astronomy on Mauna Kea. His model was the driving force behind OMKM's endeavors. By doing the right thing, OMKM has been recognized with awards for its stewardship on Mauna Kea. We were fortunate to have Barry serve 12 years, including serving as chair. After 20 years, I believe OMKM with Kahu Kumaun and Mauna Kea Management Board established a solid foundation, structure, and a successful stewardship program. The key players at the university involved in the development of the community-based management structure are no longer with the university, and so too many of the charter members of the Mauna Kea Management Board and Kahu Kumauna. There is a vacuum of institutional knowledge at the university, and there is only one member with such knowledge on the Mauna Kea Management Board, Billy Bergen, who fully understands the critical role and active participation the community plays in the stewardship of the mountain. He and Chair Roberta Chu, along with the rest of the Mauna Kea Management Board, are going to need the help of the Hawaiian Island Chamber of Commerce and the Big Island community, especially now as the university transitions into a new management structure. I urge the Hawaii Island Community Chamber, the Hawaii Island Chamber of Commerce to step up and keep a watchful eye to make sure UH stays on track, even if it means exercising a loud and strong voice and nudging, and in Barry's words, doing the right thing. To ensure the university provides, <coughs> to provides engagement in a single, I'm sorry, doing the right thing to ensure the university does not engage in single-minded approach that could undo the 20 years of the good work of this community, nor mar the legacy of the Hawaii Island Chamber of Commerce established 50 years ago of bringing to fruition astronomy of Mauna Kea. It is essential that this community provide a balance to the university to be on par with the university as a trusted and equal partner with equal voice and to ensure that the stewardship and culture and astronomy in Mauna Kea continues into the far future. My heartfelt gratitude and mahalo to all of you for this honor and recognition. My warmest, my warmest wishes for a safe holiday and looking forward to a hopeful and happy 2021. So mahalo to everyone and thank you very much. It's been a pleasure working with all of you it's, it was, it's been a, a long haul, but I think we've accomplished much and it was all because of, because of you. Hey, Newton. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Stephanie. <clears throat> We'd like to share a few video messages from your friends now, Steph. Stephanie Nagata is one of the hardest working, most dedicated, most honest people I've ever worked with. I have watched her through countless reviews. Uh, I would get timestamps on reviews she did of our documents that would be 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning. They were always thorough and good reviews. She's always been dedicated to the job and to doing it right. And her concern has always been for upholding the responsibilities of her job. We will so much miss her in that job. And I don't know how she will be replaced, but I wish her all the very best in the future. She deserves such a great retirement. Hey, Steph. Just wanted to take a moment to wish you a happy retirement. Uh, after 20 years with the Office of Mauna Kea Management, you certainly deserve some time off. You've been a leader and advocate uh, for our community, uh, for our youth, and we all owe you a big debt of gratitude for all the work that you have done. I want to wish you the best at your next chapter. Thank you so much for everything you have done. Aloha. Hey, aloha, Stephanie. 
Congratulations on reaching this milestone in your 20-year career and arriving at a much-deserved retirement. Mahalo for your many years of service to the Hawaii Island community and to Mauna Kea. We appreciated your leadership and guidance. Again, mahalo, congratulations, and don't be a stranger. Ahui ho. Hey, Stephanie. Congratulations on your retirement. Uh, please know that all of us at the Chamber are truly grateful for all you've done for not only the Chamber, but for our entire community. You know, trying hard to make this place a, a better one for our kids and, and, and future generations. You know, you've been an inspiration for many of us, uh, making available opportunities to better understand the mountain and to take a more active role in taking care of it. Uh, you remember our chamber volunteer days up at HP? Uh, cannot forget being on our hands and knees, pulling out dozens of garbage bags of fireweed. But I think what stood out most for me was the time we got to plant Mauna Kea silver swords uh, in the enclosure in back. You know, that was really something. Um, thanks again for everything and congratulations. Uh, take care of yourself. See you soon. Aloha, Stephanie. On behalf of the Institute for Astronomy, I'd like to thank you for all you've done at the Office of Mauna Kea Management. Uh, you were there right from the beginning. Uh, with Judge Heen and at the time that the OMKM office was co-located with the 88-inch crew in that dilapidated Quonset hut on the HCC campus. Right from the beginning and right entirely through your career, you've been a tireless advocate for community-based management for Mauna Kea. That was, of course, a founding principle of MKMB and OMKM. In terms of individual accomplishments, the two greatest, in my opinion, are the development of the Ranger program and the fact that you were able to get the acute bug off the endangered species candidate list. And I'm very pleased that the observatories through IFA were able to help with the financing of the acute bug program. So best wishes for a great retirement. You've certainly earned it. Aloha. I'm going to miss our dinners. Um, it's been hard to continue those during COVID times out and about in the community, but it was always so great to sit there over a meal and talk shop and talk life. Um, best wishes on the next chapter and thank you, thank you, thank you for, for everything you've done for Mauna Kea Lands and UH Hilo. Best wishes. Hello, Steph. This is Doug Simons from Canada, France, Hawaii Telescope. I say thanks to you for all your work over the past 20 years at Office of Mauna Kea Management. We've overlapped a lot and, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate all the hard work you put in over that time. Things like the Ranger program that happened on your watch. You uh, implemented the comprehensive management plan. Um, other things like the invasive species program that was started on, on your watch as well, which is protecting uh, the summit of Mauna Kea, the, the overall uh, Mauna Kea Science Reserve from uh, basic weeds and insects. And then um, overall, just watching your work as a member of Mauna Kea Management Board has been really inspiring and being deserved an incredible amount of credit. As I've said many times before, and we'll say in the future, the Mauna Kea Science Reserve is some of the best managed land in the entire state. That's something you and your team can always be proud of. It's been wonderful working with you, and I look forward to seeing you in downtown Hilo from time to time um, as we both go ahead. So mahalo for all your, your efforts, Stephanie. Mahalo. Aloha Stephanie, this is Rachel Somsas from Hawaii Community College. I'd just like to wish you the very best and to extend a mahalo for all your services as Director for the Office of Mauna Kea Management. Good luck and ahui ho. Mahalo. Aloha Steph. I wanted to thank you for your many years of supporting um, top-notch ecological science on Mauna Kea and personally as supporting me as a mentor. Um, I couldn't have done it without you and the support of Office of Mauna Kea Management. So from 2005 until today and probably in the future, uh, you'll always be a force for proper ecological management of the mountain and just advancing entomological science in general. 
you have supported um, at least five top-notch uh, entomology scientists that I've been involved with, and I can't thank you enough um, as a friend and as a mentor. All right, aloha. Uh, and this is Jesse Ivan, just in case you didn't know. All right, um, yeah, not quite Mauna Kea snow, but Pennsylvania snow. All right, across the world, thank you for your support. Me. Thank you for everything that you have done for astronomy and for our community. May you have a wonderful, long, and happy retirement. Aloha. Hi, Stephanie. Congratulations on your well-deserved and well-earned retirement. Every time I look up at the Mauna, I'm going to see you. Take care. Enjoy your retirement. God bless you. Hi, Stephanie. Congratulations on making it to retirement. You and I met sitting on an Aloha Airlines flight, oh, way back when, probably like 25 years ago. And we shared a lot in common with the arts and some of our community interests. And then you went to work for Mauna Kea Management and I got to see you in action. Um, your kindness and your dedication is incredible. We're really gonna miss you. You've set a bar that not many can meet. Thank you for all that you've done. I hope that retirement is everything you want it to be and more. Miss you. Hope to see you soon. Aloha. Those video tri tributes are pretty cool, Steph. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, before we close, can I ask everybody to turn on their cameras? Uh, Miles and Taylor would like to get a few screenshots of everybody. Don't be shy. Uh, way to go, guys. <clears throat> you getting them, Taylor? Ron, turn your Sorry, camera on. Sorry, I'm on mute. Okay, everybody smile. Keep smiling. She's changing And I just say a few words, I just, in terms of retirement, I've been retired for two and a half weeks. And the first day of retirement, I did not turn on my computer and I had not checked emails for a week and a half. <laughs> and it's just wonderful. <laughs> and no Zoom meetings either. That's even more wonderful. <laughs> but I love this retirement thing. I'm just right now trying to uh, uh, clear out 20 years of stuff that I've accumulated um, to make room for the new, the next team that's going to be coming on board. But I hope to see all of you uh, in Hilo or Kona or maybe on the plane back and forth. But I truly appreciated knowing to getting to know all of you and working with you and the support that you have given to OMKM for these past 20 years. It's truly been appreciated. Oh, mahalo to the Hawaii Island Chamber of Commerce leadership team, to Miles and Taylor, and to Toby. Uh, our guest speaker, Roberta Chu, and State Senator Lorraine Inouye. And a special mahalo to our honored guest, uh, Stephanie Nagata. Happy holidays to all. Please stay safe and <clears throat> please stay positive and test negative. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah, thank you, you all. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Merry Christmas, Christmas all. Everyone. Happy Merry holidays. Christmas. Keep yeah. in touch. Thank you, Lorraine. Right. Hello, everybody. Happy yeah. holidays.